Good morning. All right, welcome to our boot camp. Um, so some of you guys are brand new. Some of you guys have been here for a while. Some of you guys have been here for a couple of years, right? Uh, but this week, let me explain very quickly how this week is going to work. And then I'll explain to you my Monday motivation and the theme of this boot camp. Okay. So we have been talking about rising up, right? For those of you guys who have been here for a while, um, you started in January and you have been rising up together. And I love that. I love that. You've either been doing Transform 20 in a separate test group or you have just been rocking your own workout program. Um, up until now, keep doing that, okay? Keep logging your workouts, keep logging your shakes, keep checking in, reading the daily posts, encouraging one another, like just keep going. If you've finished a workout program, you need to take your after pictures. You guys should have your before pictures and now your after pictures. You need to submit those to Beachbody because they will actually give away cash prizes. Um, they'll send you a t-shirt. You could go in the drawing for um, like this huge cash prize at the end of the year, but definitely submit those before and after pictures to Beachbody. And if you are my challenger, and when you do that, I'm going to send you a tank top. So you finish 21 Day Fix, you submit your before and after pictures to Beachbody, send me a screenshot, I will send you the cutest, cutest workout tank, okay? Um, if you're not my challenger, I'm sure your coach would love to do something like that for you because we are here to help you get results, but a lot of you guys are brand new or this is your first time to really go through prep week, right? So what happens during prep week? One, talk to your coach, um, you know, just schedule a time to chat with them so they can help you pick the right workout program. Uh, you should have your Shakeology at least by Friday. I know that we're still enrolling some new people. So if you have friends that want to do this with you, there's still time for them to get enrolled with us. So definitely let us know if you have some people that would like to do this with us. But this week, we are just going to talk about mindset. We're going to talk about getting prepared for with your meal plan. If you have not done that yet, um, you're going to take your before pictures, your before measurements. You're going to log those here in the app. And so you have a record of them because your numbers are going to change. If weight loss um, is your goal, you are going to do that because you're going to do a workout program. You're going to follow a nutrition plan. You're going to drink your Shakeology and you are going to plug into this group and get those results, sweet sister. Okay. So, um, the theme of our challenge group is enduring love. Okay. Um, February is a month where a lot of people love to talk about self love. Um, just love in general. Love is awesome. <laughs> love is wonderful. Love comes from from our creator, right? And so I am 100% on board. I do believe that, you know, God's word tells us love your neighbor as yourself, which means that we must have some type of self-love if we're to understand how to love others, right? Um, and that is important. But I wanted, I really prayed about this and I felt like God was saying, Rachel, talk about my love. Like, talk about my love. Let my love motivate who I could cry all of a sudden, motivate the decisions that you make about your body. Let my love be the, be the force, the, the, um, the driving force behind the decisions that you make for your body and that these women are going to make for themselves. Like we cannot, cannot move forward without his strength, without his power. And that is rooted in how much God loves us, you guys. And so our scripture verse for this, this challenge group, um, for the next, until the next one rolls over. Um, and you're just going to stay in this one and we're just going to keep rolling over and changing themes and keep going strong. Um, is that, you know, it's first Peter five, seven, and it says, cast all your cares on him for he cares for you. And so I want you to take that verse and I want you to look at it in two different ways. One, he cares for you. Oh my gosh. He cares for you. He cares for you so much that he sent his son, Jesus Christ to live and to breathe and to exist on this dirty, filthy, awful earth to live and then to die for us so that we didn't have to keep going back to him over and over with those sacrifices so that we could be joined with him at any time, any place. And just so long as we give our hearts to Christ, so long as we believe that he is the savior of the world, we have a sin problem and we give that to him. He is our savior and he loves us so much. He did that for us, you guys. So why would he not care about what you do with this gift of our 
our body, of our vessel that he gave us while we are here for this short period of time. And if you've followed me very long, if you know me very well, if you've been in these boot camps, I am such a huge believer that every single person walking on this earth has a purpose. It may not be to be the president of the United States. It may not be to be the top coach of, in Beachbody. It may not be to be anybody huge and super, super visible and important in the world's eyes, but we all have a purpose. And it may be today that your purpose is to wipe those dirty bottoms of your kids. It may be that your purpose is to um, homeschool your children. It may be that your purpose is to teach those hoodlums at the middle school. It may be that your purpose is to, to go home and encourage your husband and to, to love him well. It may be that your purpose is to be a corporate CEO or stay at home mom or a beach body coach. I don't know what it is, but we all have a purpose. And and in order to live it well, we must take control of our, our choices, of our bites, of our body, and, and take care of this so that we can live well and, and to live strongly and to fulfill those purposes that he gives us, okay? And so I want to encourage you guys to start looking at this not as a 21-day fix, not as a 30-day fix, not as a 60-day fix. I want you to look at this as the beginning of you creating a lifetime of healthy habits. You guys, our habits shape who we are, what we look like, and what we do. And so you are just, by making that decision to invest in your challenge pack, by making that decision to invest in your workouts and your Shakeology, and a coach and this challenge group, you have made one decision that can lead to many, many other great decisions, okay? And so we are just going to focus slowly ever so slowly, bit by bit, day by day, day, choice by choice, meal by meal, workout by workout, on making better choices and changing our habits, all right? Um, we are gonna focus on being proactive and not reactive. You know, we just came out of Valentine's Day, and I would imagine that a lot of you guys, if you weren't in this group before, you probably didn't really plan to um, make great choices on Valentine's Day. It's a day full of chocolate, a day full of candy, which is fine. But if you have um, just had a bad day or if you've had a bad relationship or an argument or something, a lot of times we turn to food. Well, in this group, we're going to talk about instead of reacting to those situations, being proactive and, and you know, knowing what triggers our emotional eating, knowing what, what routes that we take to work end up with us going through the drive-thru and get the chicken biscuit. Uh, we wanna be proactive in the choices that we make, and we're gonna talk a lot about that too, you guys, okay? Um, so let's see, I think that is my pep talk for you guys, but I just wanted to share with you the focus of uh, this group, there will be some new people coming in. We do have different coaches in this challenge group. I like to mentor my coaches and let them have the opportunity to help me. So the morning post, every day you'll get a post from me. Um, at night, you will have an opportunity to check into this group. You are going to rate your day on a scale of one to five. Your food, your water, your workout, you're gonna tell us, did you drink your shake, yes or no? And then you are gonna have an opportunity to also share with us what God God is doing in your life in your because I will encourage you guys to to definitely be in his word uh, but also you know I have a list of, of books that I'm happy to send you um, you, you already have that list if you are my challenger uh, but to be working in uh, working out is important but it's more important to work in so and let that fuel what God is telling us to, uh, just let it fuel out filter out and impact every other area of our life, including our fitness, because he does care um, about that. So that is the way the group is going to work. I'm so excited, so excited to welcome you here, no matter why you're here, no matter where you're at, no matter if you have 100 pounds to lose, if you have five pounds to lose, or maybe some of you have pounds to gain. It does not matter. We are all here to make each other better, to encourage each other, and to just work on becoming uh, stronger women of faith. And I'm excited about that. I'm thankful for the opportunity to walk this road with you. And I will share my story at times throughout this group too. So, um, but today, your assignment. Whether you're a new challenger or an old challenger, I want you to drop your picture below, a picture of you and your family, introduce yourself, and encourage the woman who posts before you. Uh, because we are a team. We're a fit family of women who are fighting together, and it's important for us to help each other and encourage each other. So that's what your assignment is today. 
introduce yourself and just get ready to go big. Okay. All right. Bye you guys. Have a good day.